Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're going to be making the simplest, easiest little apron embellishments. And there are no dyes involved, nothing. We're just making a few cuts, we're using some scraps and I think they come out so adorable. So they would even be cute as maybe an ornament because you can see my little straps here. You could hang it from something or you could just put it in your journal or scrapbooks as a little embellishment. And so this one here, well, both of them obviously have these little pockets for like the apron pocket, but I just made this tiny little recipe book, I guess, which would only have room for maybe one recipe because these are just tiny little booklets I put together and I just stapled it. But you could pretty much put whatever you want in here. You could put gift cards, tea bags, um, you know, all sorts of things. And they'd be cute little gifts for a friend or a loved one. So this is my first little apron. And then this is my, I guess, more fall themed one. And I did the same kind of thing, open if you love pumpkin. And then I thought I would write a pumpkin recipe in here. So these are just simple little books I put together with my scraps and just stapled it. And I think they're just so cute, tucked into that little pocket there. So let's go ahead and grab our scraps and make some cute little aprons together. Now I think these would be so cute for Thanksgiving, any of the December holidays, or for anybody who likes to cook or bake. So I always just start with like a rectangular piece and really it doesn't matter what size you have, but this one's about three inches across by almost four and a half inches tall. But again, there's no measurements no rules so just grab like a rectangular piece of scrap paper you want to hold it this way the longer way is going this way and then i pretty much just cut out like a little i don't know half circle semicircle something like this that shape <laughs> you could use a punch if you would rather do that or just freehand it like I did, but I'm going to take this piece now and just flip it over and use it as my guide okay. for the other side. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just an apron. <laughs> so there's that. If this part gets a bit too tall for you, you can always just cut it shorter. So maybe I will just a bit like that. And then I'm just going to grab another small scrap and I'm just going to create like a little pocket for my apron, which will also be a pocket that you can use for something else. So your pocket now, it can be the exact width of your apron or I'm just going to cut this with my scissors. If you want to cut a little piece, or if you have a piece that's slightly smaller like this, that's cute too. You could also corner round the bottom here. and create your little apron pocket that way. So I think I'm just gonna grab my scissors here actually and just cut it a little bit smaller. Just like that, perfect. And then of course, just glue it down on three sides like you would any pocket. And we'll glue it right to here. And then 
you can grab some trim, some ribbon, string, whatever you have, just to create the little, this part. Why, why can't I think of the word? The little strap. So I'm just gonna grab some of this lace trim and you can either poke two holes in the corners here maybe put some eyelets in there and then tie a string through the holes if you want i'm just going to flip mine over to the back here and just pop some glue on these corners and then i'll just cut a little piece of this just kind of eyeballing it and then I'll just place each end over the glue. So we'll get something like this. Okay, so it'll look something like that. You could even add trim to the top of your pocket, the bottom of the apron, wherever you wanna do it. They're just so fun and easy to put together and then decorate to your heart's desire. And then of course you can put a small little gift in that little pocket. Even a gift card if you make your apron big enough, <laughs> which this one's kind of smaller, but just some other fun ideas. I of course like to go in with my scraps and make my own little inserts you could do a little mini recipe booklet like how i did uh will this fit i might need to cut this down a bit in the top a bit And then I just grabbed like extra scrap writing paper and stapled it right to the inside there. But maybe I'll just leave this for now as like a little card. And then I have a sticker here that says happy. And I don't know, I'll just make a little label there for the front. Just by layering up some scraps on top of each other. So really, it's just a great little scrap buster. All right. And I'll stick that in here. And then you can add stickers and other smaller embellishments. So you can put them up here on your pockets. I like these flowers here. I might just stick one up top. There. So I just added a little flower there, more flowers, but that's my next little apron. I think these are just so cute. Now I'm going to make one more. <laughs> Let's do a Christmassy one. I'm going to grab these scraps 
and again just cut out a little shape like that in this piece I'll just cut another smaller rectangle. It's not even even or anything, but that's okay. I will glue it down like that. And then I think I'm going to stick some pom pom trim down here. So I've got my red pom-pom trim here, just going to pop some glue at the bottom. Stick that on. Hmm, should I use this also for my little strap? Of course, she need to wait for that to dry. Hello. I think I will use it for my strap too. Because that's just so festive. All right, so I'll just pop some glue here and here. Attach my trim. All right. Then I have this scrap. I don't know. Maybe I'll fold it this way. So it could be like a little tag or something for the holidays. And that can just go in the pocket there. That's a nice, perfect little fit. Or a tea bag. I really love the tea bag idea. I think that's cute. Or even if you have like a whisk or a spoon sticker you could put inside. But back to my little tag here. I am just going to stick Happiest Holidays. Maybe down below. And actually, I want to take this paper and just cut out maybe a little Christmas tree. So I'm just going to like roughly draw one here on the back. And just use that as a guide. not worried about it being perfect because trees are not perfect and actually might stick that behind here a little bit like that okay and then i need a star for the top I had a star sticker, hooray, 
So I'll just pop that at the top there. And that's a cute little tag. We can kind of have that poking out the top there. But now I feel like I need something here at the top of the pocket just to kind of break it up. I'm just going to grab this other scrap that I had. And do something like this. Um, hmm. Actually, maybe I'll use these scissors just to give it a bit of that edging. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that. Pop that here towards the top of my pocket. And then I'm going to go in with some holiday stickers here. Slay all day is going to go somewhere down in that corner. Maybe I'll just add some little snowflakes actually. Like that. And that's going to be my Christmas themed apron. These stickers, by the way, I've had forever. I think I got them at Target years ago. But that is probably going to complete my little apron making today. So you can see that you can really use any size scraps that you have. You don't have to measure. You don't need dies. You can make them as big or as small as you want. And I think they're perfect for any kind of holiday or special occasion or for somebody who just likes to be in the kitchen cooking and baking. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little fun tutorial today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration. And leave me a comment down below. I'll see you all very soon in my next one. So happy crafting and huge hugs.